Hey, I got a really good deal on that paint that we chose. Well, that place by the wharf is it still going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Brooke, we bought paint from there years ago for the sleep out. It was so cheap and the guy looked so dodgy, I thought we were buying stolen goods. He wanted to go somewhere else and pay for work. In case we got arrested, but it all turned out all right in the end, obviously. TK, do you want to go and get a coffee? Hey guys, get your Avon Jeffrey's date scones while they're hot. Form an orderly queue behind me. The cook would have come herself, but uh, she had to get to work. And I must admit, I was uh, pretty desperate for a nosy. Oh, well, go for it. Do you want to have a cup while you're here? Uh, yeah, sure, thank you. Tea and coffee things are in the kitchen. So, who wants to play mum while I... <sighs> Sorry, you can always count on me to say the wrong thing. So I'm not pregnant. It's not the end of the world. No, but still. You can always try again. And trying's pretty fun, too. Anyway, um, tea, coffee? You know, the more I think about having a baby, the more ready I feel. And I found some pretty amazing father materials, so why not? Well, I'm going to grab Ben. He needs a break. And I'm going to put the jug on. Great timing on the scones. Why haven't you told him? I haven't found the right moment. It's going to be scary whichever moment you choose. What, and, and you don't think you'll get hurt that you've kept it from him? It's my problem. It's all my problem. Daniel has a right to know. <sighs> Being shacked up with his mum doesn't make any difference. You're my doctor. You can't say anything. Yeah, you're right. I can't. But if you don't tell him soon, I'll do what I can to help him figure it out. That's unethical. If you even try it, I'll report you. <sighs> right. Well, you've just answered my question. You're not planning to tell him anytime soon. For the last time, this has nothing to do with you. Why are you hassling me? Because I know what it's like to have no say in your child's life. It hurts like hell, and I don't want Daniel to go through that. Didn't realize you were still here. The look on your face before, Brooke had you ready to bolt. It was a shock. <laughs> it's all news to me about us being ready to play happy families. So you're not ready? I haven't even thought about it. I mean, we sure haven't talked about it, I mean. Come on, this is Brooke. Well, I've never been a big fan. You know that. But she's changed since she's been with you. She seems softer somehow. Well, most of the time. Yeah, no, Archie's a good person, despite what people think. She must be. You to love her. I gotta get to work. But if you want my two cents worth, I don't think you should be standing out here by yourself. I think you should be talking to Brooke. She's just told the world that she wants to have your children. I scrubbed for the initial cleft palate reconstruction, so it's cool to be on board for the second round of graphs. What else could I do? Let you beg again? Hey, guys. Guess what? I'm back on surgical. Oh, how'd you wangle that? Scotty didn't seem like he was going to budge. He wasn't, but your boyfriend here was kind enough to request my services. Without Scotty say so, I'd say you two are in for a world of trouble. I agree. Calm down. It's win-win. Afternoon, all. New surgical rosters. Thank you. Done my best to accommodate everyone. Oh, I'm not one to complain about an easy run, but I'm not on this at all. No, you're not. You'll be taking Nicole's place on the medical ward. No, I don't, I don't want to do medical. Oh, I suggest you take that up with your colleague. And Isaac, of course. He requested Nicole on his team, which left you as the spare wheel. And given the sudden gap on the medical ward, I had no choice but to put you there. Win-win, is it? Hi. Hi. I wasn't expecting you home for lunch. I thought you'd still be helping Ben. Uh, he's got it covered and um, I want some time alone with you. There's some things I need to say. About this morning? I promise I wasn't trying to pressure you into anything. We've got heaps of time to talk about starting a family. It's not just this morning. It's um, bigger than that. Is it Sarah? You can't listen to her. I knew she'd try and use this clinic as a way to it's get between Sarah, us. It's not Sarah. It's us. We're not right together. And talking about our future has made me see that clearly. 
This is totally normal. Lots of guys get cold feet after a pregnancy scare. We just need to take things slowly. No, we don't. We need to stop. I need to. But I love you. I can't say the same. I never will. You don't have to love me back. Please, just talk to me. Please, Brooke. It's over. I want you to go.